Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Click, which was released over Christmas. I know I'm a little bit late on it, but we're going to get on it right now. So let's get into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go, my bros. As we pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Vapid Click is in the muscle category. So straight off the bat, before we do any other customizations, you can see that this vehicle is very, very good looking. And also in the muscle category, which is a plus, uh, we're getting loads of muscle cars in this update, which is lush because we, we haven't had any for a while. So Rockstar to be supplying us with all these muscle cars now is amazing. And they're all really good as well. Well, good looking, at least. Uh, we'll be testing out the driving capability of this vehicle after we've done this customization. But let's get on with it. We're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the bodywork. Yeah, we can remove that side trim. And then we can... Oh, but then we put the trim back. But then we remove the trim around the headlights. Um, it looks a kind of... Uh, you know, it looks a little bit odd when you remove the trim from the headlights. So I'm not sure about that one. And then you can remove trim from the headlights and the door. Me personally, I think that probably looks the best because it does look a little bit a little bit strange when you remove the trim around the headlights. Um but then having it as none leaving it stock looks quite good too. Uh it kind of leaves that retro feel, that classic feel to it. Um but I'm going to go for something a little bit different. I'm going to just remove the side trim. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. Then we've got the bumpers, front bumper. Uh so obviously the stock doesn't really have much in the way of a bumper and then we got the classic bumper and then the retro the racing and the bespoke um you know what i kind of like it stock it looks very clean stock even though that that don't even really go that well with it the, the chrome seems a little bit lighter on the bumper than what it does around the grill which is really odd uh, if I was going to go with one of them, it would have to be the retro, I think. Because the others just kind of look out of place. I don't know, this racing bumper looks quite cool. I might go with a racing one just to switch it up a little bit. Because like I said, it looks really clean uh, with the stock. Even though there's, it says stock front bumper, but there isn't actually a bumper there. It looks really clean. Um, the bespoke is actually really odd. I'm not a massive fan of that. Uh, I might go with a racing one because I'll probably just try and turn this into like a race car. So yeah, let's go with that. Then we're going to go with the rear bumpers. Uh, again, we've got the classic, we've got the retro, the racing, and the bespoke. I actually like the bespoke on the on the rear there. It looks quite cool. Um, but then I think it looks pretty sweet without anything there because you've got this nice grill at the back. Not really sure what it would be for, um, but it's there. It looks quite good. So, I don't know. Maybe just go with a racing bumper again just to match them up. Or should we just leave it with none? Because it still looks good without anything there. Uh, yeah, fuck. I'm going to stay stock for the rear bumper because I think it looks better without anything. And I think that, that rear grill actually looks really cool. So we're going to leave it as stock. Then we're going to move on to the chassis. So we've got the stock one, which has got bucket seats as standard. And then we've got the sports, which give you higher bucket seats and a red roll cage. Uh, you know what? I'm not really a fan of the of the sports one. To be fair, I actually prefer the seats in the stock. So I'm going to stay stock. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then for the grill, we can remove the indicators. We can open the grill. Get the three bars. See, these are actually really nice choices for the front grill. I'm actually really digging some of that. The death grill. That looks sweet, man. You've got a little skull there as an emblem. Um, I think I might go with open. It being a race car and all that. But then again, I do like the death grill. That looks pretty sweet. Yeah, man. Let's go with the death grill, man. Then we're going to go to the hood. So we can remove the hood. Or we can get the hood straps. You know, they're both good choices, man. They're both really, really good choices. Um, I might just go with the removed hood. Go for something a little bit different, you know. So, <laughs> so the car builds start to look a little bit different. You don't want them all the same, do you? So... Yeah, we're going to remove the hood. Then we're going to go to the lights. And for the headlights, we're going to go Xeon. Next, we've got the livery option. So we've got 12 different options for liveries, which is pretty sweet. Hopefully, they're all nice, which I doubt. But we'll see. We'll see. So we've got the racing stripes, which is obviously classic. Actually look quite good, even without the hood. And then we've got a, a, a vapid stripe, which is just a black one just on the side there, as you can see. So these stripes are actually quite nice. Jakey's. Maybe I'll have Jake. That's got. To have, I think I might have to have Jakey's, man. I don't think I've ever seen a Jakey's livery on here. 
That one's pretty cool as well, the hipster. And then we're getting into, you know, sponsored territory, which is something that I'm not a fan of. Um, but the first few that I looked at were pretty cool. And then obviously you got the the Christmas one as well. That looks weird. It's it's cool for maybe for over Christmas, but you wouldn't want it any longer than just over the Christmas period. Um, you know, it's a nice little touch from Rockstar, but you know, it's the sort of livery you're only going to have for a few weeks of the year. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to skip past that. Um, I'm definitely in favour of maybe just going with Jakey's because obviously my name's Jake, and I've never seen a um, a Jakey's livery on any car in GTA. I didn't even know that was a thing in GTA. But you learn something new every day. This game is five years old and I'm still finding new shit out, out about it. Amazing. So yeah, we're going to go with the Jakey's livery. Hopefully we can find something to go nice with it. What I'm going to quickly do actually is quickly whip the hood back on and see if there's anything on the front. On the hood, sorry. And um, it actually looks okay. Um, but I still think the, the removed hood's the best option. I just wanted to see what the livery looked like on the hood. But, you know, that's pretty cool, man. I'm happy with that. So where were we? We're going to go down to the mirrors. And we've got the racing mirrors and the retro mirrors. I actually really like the retro mirrors, man. They look cool. Really good. Yeah, man. Let's go with the retro mirrors. Then we've got the respray. So as you can see, the livery is white and blue. So we're going to go primary color. And we're going to stay classic because we don't want no pearlescent shine on our livery. And black might actually be a winner. Black goes with everything. And as you can see, it goes really well with the white and the blue. And even the pale yellow on the side part of the livery there. It actually looks really, really good. But then if we go white, also looks good. So we could go ice white. Ah, oh, you can see in the middle there, when you go ice white, you can actually see the middle part of that stripe is like the pale yellow, the same as what's on the side of the car there. But it looks cool, man. It still looks good. But I, I, I'm digging the black. I think probably the... Black's going to be the best option, or maybe even a silver. But no, it's definitely going to have to be out of black or white. I think maybe white. I th oh, man, it's <laughs> such a tough decision. But I'm going to go with ice white. I think that looks just the slightest bit better than the black. So yeah, we're going to go ice white in the classic. And weirdly enough, we do get an option for a spoiler on this car. It's not the sort of car I'd associate with a spoiler. But it's there, and it does give you an added traction bonus. And it's not a spoiler at all. It is just <laughs> some trunk straps. Which I'm actually really happy about. I was dreading the thought of having these ugly fucking spoilers to choose from on this car. Uh, but to get an added traction bonus and all you've got to do is add these straps. That's, that's fucking cool with me, man. So we're going to grab them. Then we're going to go to the suspension. We're going to get the race suspension. Transmission. We're going to get a race transmission. No, we're not. We're going to get a super transmission. This is another car with the super transmission installed. And that is fucking awesome, man. That is really good. Uh, like I said before in previous videos, these vehicles in this update, mainly all of them have a uh, super transmission update or upgrade, um, which is something we haven't had really in, in GTA before. Not every car in this update has got it, but I'd say a good 90% of the released cars in this update have the super transmission, which is fucking awesome. So we are going to purchase that. Then we've got the turbo and we'll go get the turbo tuner. For the wheels, um, the wheels as standard are quite nice. Um, don't really know if I want to change them because I don't think there's going to be anything much better and it's going to have to be low rider in it um, they look quite cool you know they actually look really good I think Flair actually might be a winner do they look better than the standard I think they do uh, what the hell let's go with the Flair and we're going to go wheel colour maybe see if we can find the same colour blue to go with the livery so we've got the royal blue um, I'd say that that matches it actually quite nicely or the midnight blue which also looks quite close um, I think I'm going to go with a midnight blue it's a little bit darker obviously than the royal blue uh, but I think it's a more similar shade to the livery blue so yeah midnight we're going to go with and then we've got the tyres, tyre design do we want any of that so it gives us a white wall it actually looks quite smart um, not sure if I want it though I think I do I think I do want it. Oh, what the fuck, man. Let's go over it. We're going to go over the white walls. And what we got? Tire enhancements. Bulletproof tires are already purchased. So, that just leaves us with the window tint. So, we are going to purchase the light smoke to finish. So, you go, my bros. There is my build on the brand new Vapid Click. And I hope you all agree that this actually looks really, really nice. 
Just one second, guys. We've got to sort this fucking weather out. This is awful. What the hell? I thought I'd already done this. Obviously not. Extra sunny. Let's get rid of that rain. So then we can see this car in all its beauty. Much better. There we go. It's a little bit wet on the ground, but at least that rain stopped. So as I was saying, this car is actually really, really nice looking. Um, obviously another muscle car. The livery I've actually chosen, I think, looks really cool, even though it's not the sort of thing I'd usually go for. The only reason I chose it is because it's got my name in it. <laughs> um, but just to look at it, it's not... And again, it's not really the sort of thing I do. I don't usually choose white walls on a car. I don't usually have blue rims on a car, you know? They're, they're usually either chrome, silver, or black. But I, I never, ever really um, change the color of my rims to anything other than chrome, silver or black as this usually them three colors or nothing at all uh but on this occasion i've chosen white walls with blue rims and i think it actually works really well and it goes nice with this livery um i was debating obviously the color to go with the livery either white or black and i think i've chosen correctly with with the white um even though black still would have looked sweet as fuck I think white is a little bit nicer. But anyway, let's take this for a little drive and um, see if we can determine whether this is actually going to be worth getting or not. I'm not sure if it's free or not in GTA because this is obviously on PC and um, it's, it's a spawned-in vehicle, so I haven't purchased it from, from anywhere. So I'm not sure if it's going to be th free um, on any of the websites in GTA Online. Um, but it's okay. It's not obviously going to set the world on, on fire with its speed. It is still quite quick. You can see it's just hit 123 miles per hour, which is actually really good for a car like this. I wasn't expecting much from it, to be fair, just because of the way it looks and because there's so many other muscle cars in, in this category now, which is um, going to be a lot better. Um, but you can see in a straight line, it is quite quick. You can easily get to 120 miles per hour with the super transmission and the, the turbo tuning and all that sort of jazz. Um, the controls of it, you know, the steering actually feels quite light quite responsive so i'm impressed with that um it does feel bouncy I've, I've spoke about it on in other videos on other vehicles uh mainly the itali gto uh <laughs> because that is truly dreadful you can you can still feel that this has got that weird handling file where it's going to bounce on everything that it hits but it's nowhere near as bad as other vehicles in this in this update this actually feels drivable you know it feels quite nice to drive the steering's light it actually takes the corners quite well the brakes feel good and responsive uh, there's a little bit of a bounce in the suspension like i've said but it's nothing to worry about um so if you do have to purchase this vehicle you know i'd suggest buying it it's, it's a nice easy driving car um with nice customization nothing spectacular but there's enough there to make me happy and uh yeah it takes corners nicely it drives fast in a straight line the bouncing of the suspension is down to a minimum it's nice i actually really like this vehicle so highly recommended from me uh, so on that note i think i'm going to end the video there so if you did enjoy please hit that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios